How to write a short story. English literature is full of authors who became famous for their short stories. Some examples are Edgar Allan Poe, Ernest Hemingway, James Joyce, Flannery O'Connor, Raymond Carver. You can even win a Nobel Prize in literature writing only short stories, like Alice Munro did in 2013. But what is a short story? How long can it be? We can say that a short story is a piece of literature that you can read in one sitting. Or, as Neil Gaiman suggests, short stories are journeys you can make to the far side of the universe and still be back in time for dinner. This journey needs to be incisive. Poe suggests that a short story must have a single mood and every sentence must build towards it. So you should ask yourself, what emotion do I want to evoke in the minds and hearts of my readers? Fear? Joy? Sadness? Wonder? Find your emotion and let that guide your writing. To make it even more effective, a short story should have unity of time and place. This means that the story should talk about one or very few events taking place over a limited period of time. You should apply a similar economy to characterization. Forget about describing a character's inner world in detail. What you should do instead is present a character facing a specific problem or, even better, an important inner dilemma. As William Faulkner puts it, the best subject is the heart in conflict with itself. Finally, your short story should be evocative. You might write about a single limited event, but you should evoke a world. You only need very few words to do that. Look at this incredibly short example. For sale. Baby shoes. Never worn. Six words are enough to tell a touching, tragic tale. And they can be enough to sum up, humorously, the story of the entire universe. Big Bang. No God. Fade Out. End. Stephen Baxter. But remember, there is no real recipe to writing a short story. Maybe the best advice is this. Find something that intrigues you. Sit down and write about it. And make sure that your story touches you deep down. You are its first reader. As poet Robert Frost neatly put it, no tears in the writer, no tears in the reader, no surprise in the writer, no surprise in the reader. <laughs>